Jason. Diana's really good as well. So a couple great challengers. These cards are all fairly good. Bright Seal Protector just being a, a generic 3-2. I like all these. I think that the Ravenous Flock could be could be important here in um, this matchup. And I like the Sentry. Alright, so we have Sentry Flock combo. My favorite part of the deck, as y'all know. Strike no the mountain goats. I'll stop you. Okay, so we're keeping the mountain goat from doing anything more. I'm just passing turn. Wish we could play that Noxian landmark. I will trade three cards for this Lee Sin. I should be blocking here, because I'm probably gonna be fighting. Our enemies cannot hide. I'll see this through. Yeah, like I should should have blocked. So we're trading our Arachnoid Sentry, a single combat, and a Ravenous block to kill Lee Sin. But that is totally worth it. Could have saved the four damage. I just would have felt bad if they just didn't keep their lease in alive, and then I would have made that block. We do have a Dragon Mirror match. Lots of dragons. Gems are superb. Showing up. Bad for the teeth, though. The problem with going stun is that's my entire turn. Like, I go single combat, I still play like arena. Or, you know, another dragon. Let's play another dragon. Just to get the plus two plus two though. I shouldn't have been worried about anything like Bastion or anything like that. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. We see these dragons deal damage. Only the 5 5 because, like, I don't know, like, double fell cascade. Oh, they still get the Zenith Blade? Oh, well, that was a waste. You're covered. Eh, still, still work out just fine. They are nothing. Maybe we'll attack with the Shivana, and Shivana should level up. What was the point of that? Oh, I guess just the barrier. Right. There are none like me! <laughs> I was thinking, well, my Shivana's still gonna level up. But, right, they want to get rid of the barrier. Alright, so we'll see if the arena does anything. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Hopefully we draw Leviathan. No, more Arachnoid Sentries. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. I don't know, this this arena it's like scary to play. No more hiding. Sealed up. It's like I don't even know, I don't even know if I want them to 
the strike. Especially how they'll know about it and they could just like play a Pale Cascade. Like I play the arena, they play a Pale Cascade. Where's my journal? Yeah, it kind of feels like just all these things are just spells in hand for them. Yep. <laughs> we have taken a, a ridiculous amount of damage from Lunari Duskbringer this game, haven't we? Is obvious. And there we go. There's the Pale Cascade that they've been looking to use. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I Three out of four? Two out of four. Wonder why they play that on my turn. Ah, that's a good draw. That was the card they just drew. Get him two cards. Moonlight guide me. And those two cards were the, you know, this Challenger and Pale Cascade. That was a great draw step, getting both of those. I played this arena, they can play Zenith Blade, and then I play Dragon, and so we trade, have our Dragon trade with our Diana. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to play any of these, because, so it doesn't make sense, I mean, I guess I could just play Dragon and just not play Arena. I'll just do that. Those who listen. Yay! They won their draggling, said no. Cool. What else we got? Ooh. No, stop stop top decking deep meditation. I don't like it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we got deep meditation dragon. The moon is our queen, the night, her kingdom. So Diana stays alive here, which means that if they don't play anything else, Diana will be the weakest thing, so then we'll have like Diana and the Eclipse Dragon fight. No, they play the Lee Sin, so Lee Sin will be the smallest thing, so we'll have Lee Sin fight there. Interesting. They'll just play their Lee Sin to die. Keeps that alive. They're going for the going for the lethal with the overwhelm. Because it can have Challenger if they play another Nightfall card. I have to stun it so it doesn't have that. Mm. Speak, stars. So it doesn't Speak, have say. Challenger right now. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the field. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Here they come! Uh. 
All right, still alive. At two. And now the arena will have the Diana and my dragon fight. No, I was going to play the Scourge. All right. All right, well, it's not Bilgewater Noxus, so we have a shot. We can win. It's possible. Maybe not with this hand. This is going to be really interesting to see how good this, uh, you know, Helia card is. You know, them just playing, like, Trundle, then Trindamir, then Atrocity. Those are the three cards I'm scared of. Trundle, Trindamir, and Atrocity. There's a chill in the air. All right, we got a chill in the air. Burn away the shadows. Mm. Pass turn. Don't need to play anything. Yeah, yeah. No trundle, no trundle, no trundle. Please, no trundle. Okay, not a trundle. I'll take not a trundle. Oh no, I don't like that though. I want my two cards. But at least it's not a trundle. So I can't complain too much. It's like they have seven cards in hand, I got six cards in hand. Alright, now we have a champion dead for Rekindler, so that's that is important. No, don't attack. Alright, come on, Grizzled Ranger. Grizzled Ranger. Yeah. Some folks up. Time to get rowdy. Sorry, excuse me. I'll defend these forests to the end. All right, I'm gonna just. I think I just passed turn here. I don't want my Genevieve Elmhart to die. I want to make sure that it's it's going to be alive and that we get the Rekindler. I don't want anything to happen there. For the thrill of battle! We each died, then found home. Alright, so that's the first thing dead. Now, we do have the attack token this turn, so the whole rally thing isn't as impressive. Like, do I just simply attack with everything? That the best you got? Let this happen. It's like atrocity. Like I, I, you know, I can keep defense against atrocity with concerted strike. Alright, so we need to level these things up.
All right, so this will have the egghead thing die first. And that's still alive. Now we strike here. Oh, that doesn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, because then the avalanche kills us. I was like, that doesn't kill that? Right, the avalanche kills us, right? That's, that's what I was thinking. Okay. So now the, the badger bear is still the thing that costs the most... Yeah, so I don't... I guess I just don't even need to play the Fleet Feather Tracker, do I? No, we can wait on Fleet Feather Tracker. Alright, come on, Grizzled Ranger. So we get to rally, right? Like, we'll get the attack token now. But unfortunately, they have priority first. So many years, so much mm, not Grizzled Ranger. So, like, they have to have, like, another, like, sweeper. Which they do. But we still have the attack token. So we can... So I could go Radiant Guardian plus Chronicler of Ruin. I think I, I prefer Fleet Feather Tracker plus this Eclipsed Dragon. Create a random dragon and a Celestial Follower in hand. There's a chance we get the zero mana or one mana Celestial Follower. <laughs> Okay, not quite. So that's pretty sweet. So Egghead Researcher. Egghead Researcher, that two mana one three, created this Eclipse Dragon, which created an Infinite Mind Splitter and Golden Sister. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. GG's. That's game. That was a cool game. <laughs> okay, well, if, we, if we're gonna struggle against large units might as well play against deep they don't have any large units over there right and keep all this so my plan is to play My plan is to play Twisted Fate, have Rummage help level up Twisted Fate, basically just be discarding whatever we draw in these turns. So I have to pass. I don't want to play Dreadway Deckhand. And then they... <clears throat> don't want to play Dreadway Deckhand. And then they just challenge my Powder Keg. For free. So doing that does give me extra spell mana. Sure, let's do it. Going towards the level up with Twisted Fate. Blue as the Serpentine. Man, Kid Excited's a good card. I'm definitely plan like I'm planning on playing university this turn. That does mean that I discard my get excited. That's not too bad for, for getting all these new cards every turn. Sorry, get excited. Six. Man, and they're still just playing these things? Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't know what's in their hand, but I guess they're they're gonna get okay, so they're gonna get three sea monsters this next turn. So yeah, they're just yeah, so they get three sea monsters, so that's actually gonna be pretty sweet. You know, like these are all gonna be like six and seven mana things. Oh no, they're not getting three sea monsters. 
targeting too. Oh, come on, really? Keel breaker. Hesitation to tell. Keel breaker. Come on. I wonder why they play that before Kill Breaker. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna have six mana, so we're gonna have like Urchin plus Onlooker plus Bull Elnuk. Um, but actually, let's discard the Bull Elnuk. Okay, cool. We're just blocking here anyway. It's not really too much difference between between which one to play. I don't think that this is going to work out very well with for me as far as how this pick a card. So I was thinking about how this is going to work. I think this is going to be me draw three and then we just discard them. I don't think this works out very well, but we're going to try it for science. Um... And I guess I I guess I'd rather just have the extra spell mana available and play onlooker. But I don't think this is gonna end well. Oh no, that mystic shot would have been good. I guess you can win them all. Hopefully we get all these cards. Oh man, I really want those cards. No. I don't think that would end well. I had to try it for science. That sapling toss is pretty nice. Gives me the blue card. Um, that, that's going to give me a blocker next turn, even through Keel Breaker. The Keel Breaker will Fury of the North, our Twisted Fate. Oh no. Wait, this should still work. Because of red card. I'm a people person. And then we're gonna go higher gun. Get bloody, get paid. So then we get to challenge their shipwreck order and kill it. Uh, Cause you know, we don't we don't get to choose who with a higher gun, but we're challenge over here. All right, what else we got? Okay, Dark Water Scourge, Kato. Oh, that card's not good. Those are some fearsome sea monsters. All right, Dark Water Scourge, go do some blocking for me, please. Soak it in. So yeah, their their landmarks were awesome, right? Their landmarks putting these things into play, getting these treasures. Their landmark card's pretty good. I under I definitely underrated that landmark card Not my first gun at fight. first. Go down to eight. Son of a Could have blocked with Twisted Fate, then played a new one, but no, we probably want to play these. All right, so we're going to play Wanderer or Kato. Where are we at? We're at 21 cards left. If I go Wanderer. I'm honestly not sure with Wanderer or Kato. Who says I don't share? Let's go Kato. Kato. 
I don't think that's that's very fair saying the landmark has been underwhelming for us. I mean, it's it's actually it's been keeping us alive. Have you seen what our opponents done with with their three landmarks of like getting the, the treasures and getting getting these things? It's not easy to stay alive. Like, look, look what our our landmarks doing. It's could win this game for us if they don't have. If they don't have Vengeance, this is just a game. We're going to gold card this thing. I guess I don't, I don't need to play another one. Like, they have to have, like, Atrocity or Vengeance or something like that. Which we know, we know right here they're only drawing champions. Boom! Look at that university! Look at that. Yeah, so Suppressor could be could be good in dragons. Yes. Yeah, you can use it in dragons. I didn't use it in the dragon deck that I played yesterday. Um, there's, there's some other really good two mana cards in that kind of deck. So definitely keeping Rangers Resolve in this kind of matchup. Um, but we're going to need to get some cheaper cards. There we go. So this curve works pretty well. We can save our one mana here, not cap use it on turn one, and just save it for Ranger's Resolve. So that works just fine. And then we can have two drop, three drop, Bannerman. So I have six Bilgewater cards in here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I passed. I have six Bilgewater cards in here. I have, I have the three Misfortunes this. and then three of the Jagged Butchers. So those are my only Bilgewater cards as far as uh, Bannerman is concerned. That's a pretty good hand. Looks like a pretty good hand. Fortune favors the bold. Don't have good attacks. Wow, yeah, their hand was awesome. I don't think I can, you know, think, can we go like Bright Steel Protector? Like, you know, can we wait? Don't think we can. This should be a pretty good uh, Ranger's Resolve for us. No, attack with that misfortune. Darn. Don't get ahead of yourself. Can you stomach this? It's a very good Ranger's Resolve. Love ya. Yeah. Yeah, we had that yesterday happen also. Petty Officer, get the 2-4. The we had that happen yesterday. Uh, yeah, that hurt for sure. That's a, a good buff for Island Navigator and Petty Officer. Especially with Island Navigator, how I, Island, Island Navigator can get you two, two fours with Scout now. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like Tom Kench and Soraka together. We played those yesterday. Oh, come on. Make it interesting for me. Had to hit my Valor. Like, out of all of these, the one thing I didn't want them to hit was Valor. Just like honey thresher geese. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I, I didn't like Tom Kench and Soraka together. I I like both champions, but I just don't like the two of them together. My opponent just has the perfect make it range. This is... Yeah, that's just perfect make it range. That could not have gone any better for them. No one's the wiser. Yeah, that that could not go any better. So yeah, I, th I think both both Soraka and Tom Kent are good cards, but I just don't I didn't really like them together. I th I think that they're kind of both 
better individually. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be playing Soraka. We're going to try Soraka in a different spot with Vladimir. That's something that some people have been asking to see. And then we're also going to try Tom with Ash. Just calling that Tom's Cold Cuts. Slow down, will you? If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. You've got your back. Through the coral. So yeah, I've been thinking about it the last few days, but Make It Rain definitely seems like it, it should just be a three mana spell, not a two two mana spell. How it's doing three damage, targeting three things, and then of course whenever you start pairing it with Powder Kegs, how strong that is. It does just feel like it's a, a three mana card. I'd love to be able to play Scythria and Misfortune this turn. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. It's gonna be tough. Them killing that Valor. Basically just their last turn with those two Mega Reigns was just pretty silly. So we need them to. Here we go. Back. Em. I'll do my best. Let's block three two. Yeah, that's yeah, just how it is. So basically, we need them to draw something that doesn't do any damage. You know, something that does no ne nexus damage to me. So some kind of unit that does no nexus damage. I don't know exactly what that draw stuff's looking like, but that's what we need. Like, even if that Make It Rain just didn't kill any of those three units, if it just didn't target... If that second Make It Rain... There's five targets, the three that it hit, if it would have hit any one of the other two, like, we would have been just fine. Wanna be like Jagged Butcher. No, you've already played a couple Jagged Butchers. Monkey Idol? Okay. So that's fine. Is because of Scythria. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, Misfortune. Oh, no. Misfortune. So I... Oh, no. Misfortune's ability is going to kill this stupid powder monkey that's going to kill me. Yeah, so, okay, so we have to... Yeah, we gotta do this, don't we? We have to just replace Misfortune with Quinn. Okay. So now... Attack like this, make sure Scythria is last. So these are all fearsome, so the only thing that the Powder Monkey can block is the Scythria. There we go. GG's. I am surprised we won that. We got some luck happen with our last two draws. Let's try it out. All right, playing against super big unfair deck. So we'll see if we can pick up a win for a fair deck. Uh, Tavern Keeper fits the curve well, but it doesn't do anything. Right, like the heal your ally or nexus three doesn't have any text, so it'd just be generic three mana three three, which, like I said, does fit the curve well. I kind of want to replace it and see if we draw something else, and you know maybe we hit like a, a three drop with the omen hawk or something like that. Yeah. A good standard mid range deck. Nothing escapes my watch. Playing sentry here because sentry attacks for two. Egghead researcher attacks for one. So, just math. There we 
we go. Got a two for it. A little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Infinite Mind Splitter. All right, I want to attack before they can play a Trundle. This turn's not going to be very good for us because we're, I mean, well, we get the good attack in, but they're probably going to play something that's really good like Trundle, and I just have four mana. Avros and Hearthguard at 7-7 seven is looking pretty sweet. Okay. That's a lot of ramp. So they're turn five, they get eight mana. So they could play Infinite Mind Splitter here on turn five. So now if I go Sedgewani next turn, I don't have Flash Freeze also available. I could go Sejuani, and they could go Ruination. I don't think I play around Ruination. Because, like, let's say they Ruination, they have five cards and an Ice Pillar in hand, and I have five cards in hand. So it's still pretty even. Fairly even. Even if they do have Ruination. Probably worse for me than Ruination. Alright. That's great. <laughs> Any weirding stones. Alright, down to eleven. Barbarian. Got a bunch of good threats. I can kind of save Flash Freeze for, like, Atrocity. We fight for one Freljord. I can see them passing here. Our strength is yours. Which I'm pretty fine with. Alright, so the onus is on them to do something. I'm gonna pass. Because if they want to pass, then they start just obliterating cards. With War Mother's Call, because they have a filled battlefield. Come on, be Trindamir. Yes. Obliterate that Trindamir. That's good for me. Together. I'll block with the sentry. So I do not want to kill their things. I want them to have a full, full board. As far as how to end the game, still to be determined. We fight for one Freljord. I think it's just really important to get Hearthguard down as early as possible. See, like it would have been nice to, to be able to grow these things. Um, oh, uh, should I play Vanguard Sergeant? Kind of meant to play Vanguard Sergeant, but all right, another Trindamir gone. Sweet. Trundle gone. We will take that because we're just gonna just run them out of threats. That's the plan. Run them out of threats. Surprise there. Uh, 
So we've gotten rid of one Trindamir and two Trundles. Hopefully they keep on hitting Trindamirs and Trundles. They've already played all their Weirding Stones. Yep. Alright, so they're out of Trundle. And I'm saving like this Flash Freeze for whenever we need it. Do we have retribution? But why? <laughs> I don't think they meant to do that. Soldiers, to me. Alright, there's the last Trindamir. Alright, so they're out of Trindamirs and Trundles, so they probably still have like a She Who Wanders. There's not really much incentive for us to do anything yet. There's the She Who Wanders. So that's probably it, right? Just like one Avros and Hearthguard left or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they got the one Weirding Stones, and uh, they put a Hearthguard into play. And then the rest, then the War Mothers has just been obliterating cards after that. The Marcian soldier is worth ten foes. I guess I'm running out of space now. I guess I shouldn't have played that Sergeant. So if I pass, I just, I don't draw a card. Now, the Four Demacia is how I'm going to be finishing, the, like, probably winning this game. Stand and fight. What does just an attack out look like? So, we just went through the easy part. Now we have the hard part of doing 15 damage to them. Uh, I guess, alternatively, they are going to mill out before I mill out. So maybe I, yeah, maybe I just cast this to get this out of my hand. And don't attack. Maybe we just play defense. Courage, soldier. Yeah, maybe we just play defense from here. They should be out of cards. Yeah, like they're out of yeah. So their war mother's call is out of cards. So this, these are the only things that can kill us. Whatever they get with Nightfall. This is our time. So we can probably start attacking now. I wanted I wanted to, them to go through a turn of not getting anything with War Mother's Call, so I know for sure they had nothing with War Mother's Call, and I didn't have to be worried about. Uh, you know, I didn't have to. Uh, consider that at all. So, you know, now now we can clear up board space. You know, I didn't want to... And you know, now we, we don't have to be worried about board space at all. We can just clear it up. Because they, they don't have anything left in their deck. A crazy game. You won't stop us. Stand and defend. This is our homeland. That clears up some space for me. So they have like one 9-2 Trindamir is their only thing in the, the rest of their deck to do 18 damage, I think. Unless they have more things in hand that we haven't seen. They didn't play last turn with the open spot. Should be killing the Anivia. Um, I'm going to be going with the Tiana Crown Guard. Play that. 
No, they don't play Harrowing. They, there's a War Mother's Call deck. Will be Actually, served. Tiana, we're gonna wait on you. I wanna be able to attack with Anivia. This unspeakable horror can create this thing now? Uh, man, unspeakable horror is just great. So now this thing now just got them another dragon and celestial follower. Yuck. Virtue guides me. That is 10 cards, so this card's gonna get obliterated. They're gonna draw. They have a couple more little things for us to deal with, but not much. I know, right? We we've obliterated. Yeah, they've they've obliterated Ruination. They've obliterated four champions, <laughs> Avros and Hearthguard, and She Who Wanders. Obliterated all of those things. All right, I'll just I'll just go to my turn and attack. They can they can obliterate another card. Oh, another Ruination. That's cool. Snow, wind, and ice. <laughs> oh man, they have they were obliterated that game. The power of doing nothing against War Mother's Call. GG. We survive. Yes, I'm probably gonna go ritual renewal. Like they go Ledros. Because they're trying to go Ledros Atrocity. So now I gain 14 and go back up to 18. Oh no, burn to karma. That is bad. Alright, we can burn deep meditation. We can't cast that thing anyway. Just a 10-10. That's not too bad. So they probably think their 10 is pretty big, right? That's what they're probably thinking. Puppy, let's show them what, what's really big. <laughs> let's show them what's up. Think your 10 is big? Double catastrophe. <laughs> Alright, we'll put their 10-10 back in their hand. Double catastrophe. Got that. That is not something you, you see very often, that's for sure. GG's. As it was meant to be. As it was meant to be. And